What up, Tech Easy Gamers? It's your boy, Jermaine with Tech Toys Gaming. And today, if you are here looking for an awesome desktop or even a laptop pro level production device for transferring data, extending your displays to external monitors, essentially a docking station that can support these high grade resolutions, high grade data transfers, then you might want to consider this device, which is the INT PW USB-C 14 in one docking station. That's right. This is a nice pro level dock that you can utilize for your content creation, streaming and editing, that sort of thing. If you're a gamer out there and you're putting out content, then you may want to use something like this to create and edit your content. Now let's take a look at what this particular dock can do. Yeah. We'll take a nap after what? And this is the awesome little docking station we are referencing and going to take a look at today. And we're going to see what all of these ports can do. This is a 14 in one dock. Yeah, no unboxing because it was just this and a cable in the box. And that's all you're gonna get. All right, so let's look at these USB ports that we got going on here on the front, including that singular USB-C port as well. So we got two 3.0 ports, which you're going to get about five gigabits of speed. And then you have two 3.1 Gen 1 ports, which will get you about 10 gigabits of speed. So the faster ports are going to be these two ports right here, both being 3.1. So if you need a faster port for your very fast SSD, then these are probably the ports you want to connect them to. And you have two SD card slots, one micro and one standard sized, and you get about 100 megabytes or so of transfer rate speeds there, read and write. But we're going to take a look and see because in most of the USB-C hubs and docking stations, I have yet to actually reach 100 megabytes, no matter what the speed or the rates are of the card themselves are. So we'll take a look at that. We'll do a little speed test on that. On the back of the dock, we have a number of ports there, two HDMI, one display port, one microphone and headset port. They have split those apart. One gigabit network port, as well as power delivery, which is 100 watts. And you have the host port, which is where you would connect your laptop to whatever device you're connecting to this dock. And that is the gist of it. I do like this hard, cold metal feel of this particular device. It's very sturdy, aluminum finish, nice and silvery, Apple-ish kind of texture and finish on this. So essentially you have two HDMI ports, both do 4K 30, the display port, which is a 1.4 version display port. That will definitely get you 4K 60, but if you're running dual monitors, you're going to get 4K 30 for both monitors. And then there is the option to run triple display. Yes, so via triple display, you get 1080p 60 over all of these monitors. Now, just one thing to note when you're doing triple display monitor projection, for example, via a MacBook, particularly you will get a mirror mode and an extension mode. But the way that it works is that it doesn't work in full extension mode. So essentially, when you extend your MacBook screen to three 1080p resolution screens, the three screens will be mirrored, right? The only screen that will be different is the one on the laptop. So you're extending the three, though they are different from the laptop. They are not exactly fully extended via Windows machines. You can support all extensions. All right. Now, and with that technical stuff out of the way and knowing what you'll get with your displays, let's go ahead and jump into my MacBook and see what we can do with transfer rates, what those look like. Let's do it. All right. And running here on the 3.0 port on the docking station, you're going to see that we're getting a max of 390 ish on the right speeds and about 357, 360 ish on the read speed. So the 3.1 and 3.0 will get you relatively different speeds where on the 3.1, I'm pretty much getting double the transfer rate. 
via that port. So just be mindful of that. Moving on, let's look at the SD card slot speeds. We're gonna take an SD card that runs at about states 100 megabytes on this sd card plugging in my sd card you'll see that it pops up here on the screen eos digital and we're gonna go to select that target drive and we'll select eos go into the camera roll and we're gonna start a test let's see what we get yep as i typically suspect with these devices i am getting at about 40 megabytes per second via the docking station itself and i'm presuming that the read speed is going to be closer to about 80 megabytes here we go with the read speeds and let's see if my suspicion is correct yep in fact we're getting well over 80 megabytes per second via this sd card slot now mind you this is the rates that i'm getting directly from the macbook m1 SD card slot, I'm getting about 40 on the right and 85 or so on the read, just as you see here. So this docking station is doing the rated speeds that the port on the MacBook itself is doing. So connecting to my external monitor at 4K30, I was getting the rated speeds, which is 4K30 with your HDMI ports. However, if you have a display that is utilizing DisplayPort, then you will get 4k 60 no problems there is roughly a millisecond or so of delay between the macbook input and the external monitor so you will see and feel that as i am actually showing you right here so just take note of that that the external display will give you some minor lag my techies and gamers out there in the world this device definitely does make the pass you definitely get a nice piece of hardware that does some pretty advanced things in terms of speeds i do like that my ssd was able to pump out 740 megabytes per second transfer rates 600 and change as well on the read speed so yeah this thing is it's holding up to my expectations i may have to switch out the docking station i have now this actually has a bit more robustness to it than the dock i have there but otherwise yeah if you're interested in this device check the link in the description thank you uh, intpw for providing this sample unit to test out and to give it a try and to share with all of you out there in the taking gamer world however if you are looking for a portable low profile device that you can take with you on the go that is just as a powerhouse as this even more of a powerhouse then check out this video right here this device right here can do dual 4k 60 that's right so and also the transfer rates are pretty robust on this device as well so if you're interested in this click that link i know you're interested go ahead and click it i'm waiting click the link right now what